In a matchup of the two top dogs out east, the Boston Celtics reminded people of what happened in last year's second round by making the previously undefeated Cleveland Cavaliers, who they beat handily in five games last spring, 15-1. Boston picked up the 121-17 win and handed Cleveland their first L of the season while improving their own record to an impressive 12-3. Cavs fans were hyped for this one as fan pages were tweeting out stuff like this which reads, One more sleep, don't run at Celtics with a picture of the time of the game. For Cleveland fans, this was no ordinary regular season matchup, but a real measuring stick for where they were as a team. Boston sent a message that said, when you face the reigning champions, there's levels to this. Credit the Cavs for having a massive late third quarter run though. However, it was a dominant first half for the Celtics. The Celtics had 14 three-point makes at half, while the Cavs had just 14 three-point attempts. Six Celtics in Tatum, Horford, Holiday, White, Brown, and Pritchard scored at least 11 points. Tatum posted a team-high 33 while also hauling down a game-high in boards of 12. Al Horford's 20 points was a season most, and his three blocks were a season most as well. It was the second straight game Al posted a season-high in scoring. Horford was also a game-high plus 18, while Derek White's team third most 19 and Jalen Brown dropping 17 came with D. White and JB being tied for a game's second highest, plus 17. For the Cavs, Donovan Mitchell had 35, and Evan Mobley had 22. Don't forget, this win for Boston came without Chris Stapps Porzingis, one of their bigger pieces to the puzzle, but Tingus Pingus was warming up pregame as he has been as of late more and more, as KP's return continues to inch closer. What's the biggest piece of value you can take from this game, whether it's from either a Celtics or a Cavs perspective? Let me know in the comments down below. This was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.